put together a collection of the best UFO videos taken from the armed forces from around the world. And all these military UFO videos are the ones that are available to the public. So just imagine the ones that are still classified. All right, so let's get into this. So let's start with the infamous Tic Tac UFO video taken in 2004 off the Nimitz uh, aircraft carrier. So here we have our white UFO Tic Tac shaped looking device. And uh, uh, Captain David Fravier was the first one to spot this UFO, but this video was not taken by him. This is actually taken by another pilot. And you can see it's uh, like a standard cigar shaped UFO, uh, just kind of sitting there. It does do some cool maneuvers here in a minute. So we look at that, see that little bob and weave right there? That's really cool. So, you know, the thing's still trying to keep track of it. And it's, it does look, look at this, look, look, a little move right there. Now that's not the camera, that's the, that's the craft doing that. You see that little, little move it does there? That's, that's the craft itself. That's not the camera shaking around or anything. That's just what the, that's the craft doing its crazy little maneuvers uh, captured on film. And now it's about to break away at high speed. It even breaks the lock of the video track, the tracking system. Boom, right there. Just breaks away. Next up, we have the infamous gimbal UFO video taken in 2015. And uh, this uh, appears to be like a spinning top UFO. There's also uh, apparently a a fleet of UFOs traveling along with this UFO uh, flying in a V standard formation. Uh, you can't see that in this video. However, that video does exist and hopefully it'll be released soon. Now look how it tilts to the side and flips up as it's rotating. What's really cool is the glow around the craft where you can actually see like the gravitational field around it. It's actually a different color than the craft. Like the propulsion is actually cold. It's not hot. Here's the infamous Go Fast video taken in 2015 as well. And here we have like a little probe UFO flying across the ocean. Uh, and this is something you'll see quite often is that these UFOs all over the ocean. This is probably why there's so that the, the Navy has more to do with UFOs than the Air Force. So all this time when we're always like, oh, the Air Force has all this information. They, they do not. It's the Navy that has it all. Now, this is a stretched out panorama of the gimbal UFO video of what it would have looked like if it's just traveling along and you could see how it rotates and you can still see the white field that should be black. It should be hot if it's propulsion, but it's not. So it's propulsion actually produces cold uh, um, energy around it. So it's not it's not hot air. It's, it's, it's actually cold. Now, this uh, happened, I believe, in 2014 off the coast of Puerto Rico, and this video was taken by Homeland Security. And this is one of the coolest UFO videos out there. Uh, you can see this object flying around. It reaches up to 90 miles an hour at some points. And it's traveling through trees, between houses, uh, under telephone poles. Right now, it's going across the uh, tarmac at the airport uh, in Puerto Rico which is completely illegal and and what i'd like to know is why is the military just watching these ufos look at this just fly across the street and not a single shot is fired they're not squawking at them they're not saying hey you know get over here i mean what the hell do we pay these guys for man is this ufo just thinks he can just do whatever he wants a homeland security my ass what are they securing why aren't they over there blowing this fucking thing up Look us right through the trees, right through the, the bushes. It goes straight, bam, into the ocean. Now, as it's traveling here above the ocean, it goes into the water at speed and does not stop. It doesn't slow down one bit. Going from air to water has absolutely no effect on this craft. So it goes exactly the same speed in the air as it does in the water. There is no, there is no deceleration in its speed at all. Now, this is the amazing part. So any of the skeptics out here, you know, explain this one. This object is now underwater flying at, the, you know, going at the same exact speed. And all of a sudden it splits into two objects. 
So if you want to say, oh, it's a drone, it's a balloon or whatever, tell me what drone flies at 90 miles an hour, hits the water, and splits into two completely separate devices. Impossible. I mean, what kind of technology has that where it, the, the object has now turned into two of the exact same objects? I mean, it's able to just split into a, a whole other craft. Like, they can absorb each other. They can split apart. I mean, the technology that they have is absolutely amazing. And now they're the Homeland Security, the, the plane is uh, trying to look for it right now and is completely lost it. This thing is gone. Not to be seen again. Very interesting video. So this next video comes, it was in 1994. This is taken from the Nellis test, uh, test range and uh, out in Nevada. Uh, this is where we test um, nuclear bombs and stuff. So this is right near Area 51. This is right by S4. In fact, both S4 and Area 51 are located on the Nellis test range. So who knows exactly where this stuff was actually filmed, like what camera was filming this. Uh, most likely Area 51, because I don't know why the test range would have cameras set up like this that are being monitored and controlled uh, uh, with a, an actual controller using PTZ or point tilt zoom controls to follow this object. Now, this is uh, someone's attempt to, uh, to, to stabilize this footage. Um, they did a, a real crappy job, so I had to, uh, I re-stabilized it so you get a better version, what I'll show you after this, um, we play out this whole video. But this object has a really particular shape to it. Uh, so right there, it almost looks like it could be a kind of flying saucer dome-shaped um, UFO. But when we look at the stabilized version of it, you can see it is, in fact, not. It is more like a cross with uh, spheres at each end of the cross. And here it is, you know, flying directly over the sun or right through the, the vision of the sun. So it's kind of hard to make out there for a second. But uh, the thing is, is that this thing is flying in restricted airspace there is no flying over area 51 for any device that is not coming directly from the base itself this is why it was so important for these guys to get on there and track this object because they're like uh, well this is completely illegal so they just come over here break our laws they fly around in restricted airspace like it's nothing nobody uh, no american could fly any drone or toy around area 51 now here is a better version a better stabilized version of that video where you can really see the the craft itself and what it and that, what it actually looks like and you can see there's different temperatures to the craft so the one part of it is black and then the rest of the parts are white so i mean where's the propulsion coming from and you can even see like this circled kind of halo enveloping the entire craft uh that appears to have some kind of effect from the gravitational field that the craft is producing you can see there's actually like a bubble that's around the craft um i'm assuming that is caused by its um the gravitational field that it's producing in order to be flying so let's say this was um maybe it's a bunch of uh, balloons maybe maybe that's it well why are they creating this 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 bubbled field around them why do they have two different color temperatures uh, of if it was a bunch of balloons it's obviously it's not balloons it's some sort of machine that we don't create <laughs> now this video is taken by the mexican military off the coast of mexico and you got these uh appears up to be about nine different uh lights flying in formation following along uh the same route as this military craft and the, these soldiers are watching this and they're completely blown away because they cannot see these craft through standard uh, uh, video. 
So looking out with the standard video camera, they, these craft are completely invisible. They do not see them. It's only when they're turning on their thermal cameras and the FLIR cameras are forward looking infrared cameras that they are able to in fact pick up these craft and see them. So some people say, oh, well, this is, um, these are um, oil wells and these guys are actually looking at the ocean. They're not in the air. Um, however, if you were to look at the uh, oil wells with a regular video camera, you would still see them. <laughs> So it's only because of the thermal vision that you're able to see these. So these are definitely not the oil wells that are off the coast of Mexico. That's, that's completely false. It's, it's, you know, they, they put very little thought into trying to debunk it using that. Uh, besides the fact that if you watch closely, you'll see how um, what looks to be one light at a point actually splits into two, which is a common feature among UFOs, as we saw earlier. Uh, and therefore proving that these are in fact not oil wells off the coast of Mexico because they would not in fact split into two. So you can see right there, you can see that, that guy, um, it's now, it's gone from, you know, it looked like three uh, in a row right there to actually four because another one just kind of appeared or split from it. Now these are really great. Now look at this. This is a, from a Russian MiG. Now look at this. This is, appears. This is kind of like the Tic Tac UFO video, except this is clear, straight video of one of these crafts. And look at this. It's again a, a cigar-shaped UFO, and when it ready, when it's ready to go, it just flies out of there. I mean, this the 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 jet has no chance in keeping up with this thing. I mean, it just zips off at a rate. This, the the jet can't even turn fast enough to keep in line to keep this thing in sight. It completely flies out of sight. This is why the video just ends right here because there's no more of it. They said after this, it was completely gone. It just I, I, that's it out the scene. Now here is one of the best UFO videos I have ever seen. This comes from a Russian MiG uh, fighter jet, and you can see the two objects here. And the two objects form into one. Not, not that they're, you know, one of them is splitting off. But look, that's going to merge with the other UFO. Look at this. Look at it merge together like that. I mean, these two, these are obviously solid crafts. These are not balls of light off in the distance. These are two solid looking craft. And they're somehow absorbing Another solid craft, right, right into it. What is it? Opening a door, and the other one's going. It's somehow absorbing right into the other craft. Look at that. that's absolutely amazing. And these military videos are the ones that are leaked to the public. These are the ones that the public has access to. Imagine the UFO videos that are still highly classified and top secret that haven't been released. I mean, look at the capabilities of these craft. This is it's absolutely phenomenal. No military on earth has anything that could do what these craft can do. And I want to know, why aren't they launching missiles at these craft? They should be blowing these fucking things out of the sky. If this was another country, they would have no problem. They just, they just start shooting at them. You know, if this was over Russia and they found out this was a Ukrainian jet fighter, they want to blow it out of the fucking sky. Oh, but no, because it's a UFO. Oh, we just go. We're just going to let it slide. We're just going to ignore it and just let these guys just fly over here and do whatever the fuck they want. Sure, we take your tax money and we're supposed to protect you guys, but we don't give a fuck. Look at this. These guys just merging into each other. This is incredible. This is one of the coolest UFO videos I've ever seen. And, and this was released back in the 80s. The, the Russian military released this to the public saying, we don't know what the fuck it is, but here you go. And we thought it was a big deal when the Pentagon came out and admitted UFOs exist. Man, Russia did it 20 years before us. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. Now, I've seen other UFO videos where the UFOs 
um, absorb another UFO or collect another UFO like they're collecting like other but they're usually balls of light never have I seen a daytime footage taken from a jet fighter of a solid looking craft absorbing another solid looking craft this is a rare rare UFO video but if if the Russians have videos like this I mean, just imagine what the, the, the Americans have. 